Hi everyone, this is Iyad, and in today's tutorial, I will show you how to make multi-language application in AppGyver. Actually, there are different ways to make your application multi-language application. I'll show you in this video a dynamic one in which you can add a language whenever you want or add new items to be translated. So I'll add two components to the uh, page view. Uh, the first one will be a title and the second one a button and I'll add a row in which I'll add three buttons which will be the switching buttons between the languages so I'll add new cell to the row and add two more buttons The first one will be for English language, so I'll make the label English. The second one will be for Arabic language. And the third one for Turkish language. As I said, you can add more uh, languages. Uh, because this uh, method will be a dynamic one. Let's correct this. All right. Let's change the text to usual text we use, hello world. And the button will be just uh, simple text click this oops let's change the language click this okay now let's change the style for these buttons to make them different from the above one All right, now let's save our project and let's go to the variables. In the variables, I will add application variable. I'll call it selected language, which will be a text and it will save the selected language by the user. So if the user selected English, this text will be the English Arabic will be AR and Turkish will be TR etc. I'll add another variable which will be a list of objects. Inside it I will put all the text I want to be translated. So in the object I will add three properties for the three languages I have. And another property will be the statement which I want to be translated. I'll remove the ID, the default one. If you have more languages, you can add more properties to the object. Let's add values now. So my statement will be hello world. You can write whatever you want, greeting for example, and just to put the translation you want here under each of, uh, of the languages you have in your project. So I've, had, I've added the Arabic translation and the English and the Turkish. This is for the first statement. I'll add another one, which will be the text uh, for the button, the label of the button.
the Turkish translation for click the client the English I'll put it click this let's change the language sorry oops I'll make it click the button and the Arabic one Ankur Huna so you will add another value for each text you want to be translated in your application let's go back to the canvas view save the project and let's set the value for the selected language variable by adding set up variable flow function so when clicking the English button the value will be en en I will copy this flow function and go to the next button when clicking on Arabic it will be AR and for the last one <coughs> for the Turkish I'll paste and then change the value to TR okay let's save and now let's go to the uh, each text we want to be translated so I start by the title and I'll bind, bind the title with a formula this formula I will use find function which will return an object which contains the, the statement I want to be translated so the find uh, function takes two parameters the first one is the list I want to search inside and the other one is the statement I want to retrieve so the statement here it will be in the item dot statement I'll search inside the list for the item statement which is the same as the hello world text so as I said this will give me an object contains all the properties parameters now I want to retrieve only the uh, corresponding language from this object so I will use the lookup which will take two properties the first one is an object which I will retrieve it from the uh, using the find and the other one will be the language which is selected by the user which is saved in the selected language let's save and you can set the preview value here and I repeat the same for the button so I will copy the formula from the first one and paste it in the formula for the button label just to change the hello world with the label of the button which is the click this one I mistyped this I will correct it after that let's save and I change the preview value to click this save and I'll go to variables to correct the click Okay, click that's it let's save our project 
and let's try it on the mobile phone so no text because we didn't set the default value for the selected language but when clicking on English, Arabic, Turkish we have the title but in the bottom we don't have anything let's see why I think we have a problem and yes in this click it should be small letter not capital letter so be careful be careful when writing because it's case sensitive let's set the application variable selected language when the when the application is opened so i'll connect this to the page focused as i only have one page it's better to connect with the page mounted and let's try so when opening the application i have the english and now when clicking on arabic and turkish it changed it changed the language automatically i hope this was helpful and see you in next tutorials